Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to delve into the inter interesting aspect of military operations known as Firewatch. It's not just for preventing fires. It goes deeper than that. Stick around and cover the significance and the role behind Firewatch in the military. Hard work, hard work. Hard work. exactly is Firewatch in the military? The term was de designated for individual responsibilities for monitoring to ensure the safety of areas, especially during periods of risk of fire. You know, this goes back to the revolutionary days, you know, when people were camping out outside and, you know, um, everyone was sleep sleeping outside and you had more of a chance of having a fire. Now, there's a difference between that and the wartime significance. So let's talk about during wartime. So fire watch in wartime is really designed to keep military units on alert. You know, sometimes there are times where you might be in the rear um, or let's say if you're on a base and everybody want people want to sleep. Usually during the day, you don't have fire watch because everybody's up hustling and bustling. But at night, you do have people that want to take you down to sleep or you want to allow for sleep for individuals. So someone needs to be on alert to make sure the enemy, the enemy doesn't, you know, infiltrate your, your whereabouts and to mitigate sabotage or even trying to over, overrun the camp. This is something that's been handed down and instituted throughout the years. And this is in all military branches. Um, it's a form of security, um, more or less. The same thing when you hear a fire watch, you hear the word staff duty, for example. Staff duty is the person who is on duty uh, after your normal working hours. Let's say after five when everybody's left the building. And this is for every command or element has a staff duty or quote unquote fire watch. And what that person's duties are to attend to alarms, ensure that all the buildings are locked, make sure there aren't any fires, any emergencies that arise, they have a list of numbers in a book to contact such individuals to awake them, to alarm them of a situation at hand. It can go as far as people signing in and out of leave. They will document that because it's only off hours. Anything that needs to be annotated or taken care of while the body, and body meaning the group, the collective, is off duty. A lot of us experience fire watch for the very first time in basic training or boot camp. Um, just really to get you acclimated to it, but it literally was for that, to make sure there weren't any fires, or was every so many hours, you know, you'll switch uh, from one person to another so that person gets sleep. So you might be on fire watch for two hours. I did, did, dude, wake up, wake up, you got fire watch, dude, wake up, you got fire watch, all right, you got two minutes, get dressed or some drag ass off this rack, you okay, all right, dude, yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, fire watch, go ahead, just go ahead and wake up, you got fire watch, all right, and then you wake up the next person, they're on for two hours. And back to the, the basic training part, more or less to make sure, let's say you don't have a trainee that, I don't know, might be choking to death. A trainee that sleepwalks. You definitely need to know about that and, and they probably probably will get, get kicked out the military. A trainee that might be trying to escape. <laughs> a trainee that might be trying to do something bad to another one, you know? So they're the eyes at night, more or less. No, they are the eyes at night when the drill instructors aren't around or drill sergeants. So back to military operations, you've definitely seen it a lot in Vietnam. I mean, yes, we've seen it in Iraq and Afghanistan, but people see movies, you know, with Charlie Sheen, um, or you see the movies like with Full Metal Jacket that um, you see the person up at night. Platoon was the one with Charlie Sheen. 
they have him. Hey, cheese dick, you're up. What? You're up. Don't catch any Z's on me, buddy, or I'll sling your sorry ass. You hear me? Okay. Him to where he's supposed to be on fire watch. And I think he falls asleep or he thinks he sees something and he has to react to it. So I hope I have given you a better I guess, understanding of what Firewatch is and what it means to the military. And hopefully, you know, I can give you some more information on different little tidbits that you can learn from. You know, like, subscribe, and if you want to hear about more things about the military, let me know and maybe I can do a little uh, video for that thought. But until the next time, stay safe, stay dangerous.